failure or the trouble rate of implants is really on the rise and, and, and there are a limited number of treatments for for and periodontal involved implants. Uh, the, the threads themselves cause a problem. The uh, fact that the, uh, the, the hard and the soft tissues are joining to the, uh, the fixer in a, in a different way. Uh, many of our, our really go-to treatments is like really root finishing and root plant. You cannot do that with a titanium threaded implant. So you, there's really has to be a completely different approach to it. And uh, the, the, the PIP and the laser treatment really offers that, again, in a less invasive way. And a, a really important tool for to help people with implants. People getting implants are being a little bit shocked by the fact that they thought that this was forever. It was a bionic tooth. Everything was going to be okay. When they come and see me, and by the way, I'm being referred patients from oral surgeons, from other implant dentists and general dentists, because they put it in and they don't know what to do with, with the implant next. So I, I think this is something that periodontists can cultivate as a, a referral source of taking care of, of peri implantitis. A particular general dentists who have become increased referring dentists to my office because they themselves have always you know, probably learned from dental school that periodontal surgery can, can be uh, complicated and, 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 and lead cosmetic and structural defects. Uh, they just didn't want to refer their, their patients needed peri treatment, but they didn't want to refer them out for traditional treatment. This opened doors immediately when they found I was doing this kind of technique. I think uh, it's, it's, it's increased case acceptance. It's, uh, it's uh, simplified some of the post-op and, and some of the uh, other periodontal procedure you know, protocols that we do. We certainly do, certainly do uh, have the, the, the situation where we're doing crown lengthens, we're doing gingival graftings, uh, we're doing uh, sometimes uh, root amputations or, or, or some sort of uh, root, root and bone procedures uh, and, uh, and, and all of uh, you know, the uh, uh, Pondic site development, things like that. It's, it's not like once you once you have a laser, that doesn't mean you're going to throw everything else away and not do other procedures. And the and the laser is is not going to do help you with some of those procedures. But the laser is certainly going to help you with perhaps as much as 50% of what you do during the day. If you're open to completely changing your whole style and your technique, um, then then the, I, in my opinion, the low pip, low map. Uh, Millennium Protocol would, would be right up around.